LA Noir on the Steam Deck OLED. I already tried this on the Steam Deck LCD and I recommended a mod to be able to unlock the frame rate because unfortunately it's locked to 30 FPS. And this mod from Banazizit, thanks for making it, first of all. He told me in my Steam Deck LCD video that he made a new version. So three weeks ago, he made the 2.0 version from scratch. And basically you can now unlock the frame rate. Visual bugs have been fixed. Basically you can play at unlock frame rates now. And the non 16 by 9 resolutions actually work properly, as you can see. So first of all, go to release 2.0. I'm going to give you a direct link in the description. Click here. So you download the zip file. After downloading the zip file, extract it and you'll have all this. Go inside the LA Noir folder. Before copying and pasting anything, go into plugins, lanvp.ini. And here, tweak it to your taste. Personally, I like unlocking the frame rate, unlocking the resolution, aspect ratio to remove the black bars. FPS limit, you can put a custom FPS limit here. FOB multiplier, so we have more FOB. I put it on 1.2, it's by default on 1.0. Uh, then borderless full screen, we can skip logos and legals, and that's basically it. So we save that. Now we grab this too. Copy, open Steam on desktop mode. LA Noir, go into this cog. It says manage and in manage go to browse local files so you can see where the game is installed in my case i think i installed it on my sd card so it'll take you here once you're here paste the contents that you downloaded so now you should have the input 8 and the plugins folder so now we gotta do one more thing so the one more thing will be to open manage once again go to properties and here in general, make sure that you type this as the launch option. I'll leave one in the description so you can copy and paste if you want to. If not, basically the mod won't work because it requires this file. So to summarize, you need to put this in order for the mod to work. And let's go back into gaming mode now. All right, we're now into the game and it says b patch v 2.0 that means that we installed the patch correctly if you don't see this you probably met something up maybe you didn't copy a folder or something so we're going to options display graphics let's put 800p now we shouldn't be a problem after changing it to your heart's content hit apply all right so welcome to la noir in the end i <laughs> The FOV, I lowered it to 1.0. On the smaller screen, really, I don't think it's worth putting 1.2 FOV. It was a little bit too much. Let's leave it at that. And um, what's the main issue with this game? Well, it uses one core at 100%. That's basically the issue with it. But now you can use the entire screen without restarting the game. Because in the previous patch, the previous mod, I had to restart the game without changing the graphic settings in order to maintain 16 by 10. So now it uses the entire screen just fine. All right, so as you can see, the GPU is almost maxed out. It's not using all the GPU clock. It can go to 1600 MHz, but it stays at around 1200. I'm guessing that's because one of the cores is trying to use a lot of frequency. So it takes it away from the 15 watt TDP. Although I think the GPU usage is good enough. We'll have to use the registration to trace the oh well, with 16 by 10 using their, their screen, I think it's great. But since my capture card only supports 60 Hertz, I gotta show you the entire screen now, target 90 FPS as well. But this mod works quite a bit better when it comes to unlocking the frame rate than the previous one especially when it comes to the car handling or what i played so far welcome back we are now in handheld mode as you can probably notice with 800p 90 hertz we're actually getting low 60s upper 60s depending what's going on on screen so yeah despite being an older game it can actually drop pretty hard when it comes to targeting 90 hertz 
Personally, just for battery life purposes, I'll just lock it to 60. We have two and a half hours at uh, unlock frame rates. But if we lower it to 60 Hz, which is how I recommend to play this game, it's not like it's a Twitch shooter or something. You get an improvement in battery life and stability because 90 is consistently, it's not 100% perfect. Let's just leave it at that. Well, let's check stuff out. Seems irrelevant. And here's the main part of the video. That's right. Or we talk to the old man. <laughs> what exactly happened here, Mr. Man, the first time I played this, I think it was on the PlayStation 3. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? So yeah, basically 60 like this. With the mod, we got the entire screen, as you can probably notice, which I think is the biggest improvement. Also, the car handling is way better than in the previous patch, because many of those things were tied to the frame rate. So yeah, well, you can play with unlocked frame rates. On this one, I recommend, at least on the Steam Deck, to do 60s. Like four hours of battery, basically, instead of two and a half. And I like the subtle, the subtle facial expressions. He's definitely not lying. <laughs> you went out to the car. Once they were gone, yeah. you to take a look for your subtle facial expressions. Nothing's better than that. Oh, well, the main issue with unlock frame rates in the past was that <laughs> the game basically was had a, the braking of the cars was completely broken. I mean, by broken, I mean the cards slid way too much. The only issue now is that left and right is a little bit sensitive. But again, in comparison to before, this this is not an issue in, in comparison. So my advice would be to keep it at 60 again. But what if you want to do 90 FPS or unlock frame rates? Well, first you need to pause the game. Options. Display, graphics, lower the LOD, the, the lighting quality, and the shadow quality to balanced. Maybe shadows, you can even put them on performance. Hit apply. That's a little bit lower settings. And in here, just 90 FPS. There we go. And as you can see, we still cannot hit 90s, despite this being an older game, but I'm guessing, again, it's one core at 100%. Classic older game. That was even an issue back when the game first released. Now I got a faster car, so I'm guessing I can drop frames <clears throat> a little further. But as you can see, it drops into the 60s, so... Again, I'm sounding like a broken record. <laughs> but a 6 FPS cap, in my opinion, makes a lot more sense. Did they send some uniforms around to get her? No, it's just the more part. consistent. The frame times are not as Goddamn spiky maniac. here and there. And again, we're mostly driving, maybe doing some car chases here and there, but mostly speaking yeah. and investigating. That's him and the Freddy. You're looking good. You're Mr. Freddy, it's That's been a while. You got the money? The 20? Let's keep all of it. Right here. 20? I said you want the money or the alternative? Tell us about the reefer, Freddy. Another good right. Samaritan. Answer the question. So yeah, it's mostly stuff like this. So, in my opinion, again, 60s, have fun. There's some parts where it hits 90 because we're looking at walls or characters only. But when you're actually doing stuff, we're CPU limited. Thanks, Rockstar, for making it one core only. <laughs> only using one core. Yeah, I remember that was a big thing when this game came out. Do me a favor, Freddy. Because performance for a core was much lower than what it is nowadays. So I think I have a core 2 quad when I played this on PC. Good times. Okay, so now some action. They're shooting at us, some slight destruction there. But it's fine, we can run this way and grab a better weapon. 
So let's get the 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 Thompson. And hopefully I don't get killed because I'm looking at Surrender the camera's the screen. You're mine, asshole. There we go. Both are gone. So yeah, that's basically it. Lock it to 90 FPS if you want unlock frame rates. Really, I don't think it's a good idea because battery life and the game is not super action focused. There is a little bit of action when chasing maybe a suspect or something or driving around. But to make it more consistent, lock it to 60. Because the game really does only use one core very, very, in a, in a very heavy way. I mean, at 100%. You just see the red color there. And at 6 FPS that still happens, but it's less obvious. At 60 it feels way more consistent. And battery life, instead of 2 hours and 30 minutes, is probably 2 and a half, 3 and a half... 3 and a half? 3 and a half to 4 hours. But again, with the mod you basically get correct aspect ratio, unlock frame rates, you can also skip the logos at the beginning. You can extend the FOB. Now the unlocking the frame rate doesn't destroy physics with cars. So huge thanks to Vanna ZZ for making this mod and commenting on my previous video that there was a new iteration made from scratch. It does work a lot better. No more error message when launching through Wine. The game actually works completely fine now. I'll just, again, lock it to 60 for battery life, but if you're not playing on a Steam Deck and you're playing on a different machine, you can still get higher frame rates. Just going above 100 can be problematic, so keep that in mind. If you want to go above 100 FPS, in one or two missions you might get some game breaking, it might break the progression in the mission, but only for one mission, it's detailed in the GitHub uh, uh, FAQ. But the game works just fine, looks awesome on the OLED screen. Doesn't have HDR, of course, older game. But I think it's one of the best ways to play Alien Noir at the moment. Also on the Steam Deck LCD, you can play at 60s just fine. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did revisiting Alien Noir. And I'll see ya next time. Bye guys, thanks for watching.